Welcome back to Let's Play Alan Wake. Again! I'm Burning Dog Face, and it's my pleasure to tell you... Let's act like we're on vacation. <laughs> Go stand next to that old gentleman there. I want a shot of you with the town in the background. Welcome to Break sure. Falls. I'll even give you a title for the shot. A city boy, moments before he got eaten by a bear. Hi. Hello there. You picked a good time to visit our town. Deerfest is just two weeks away. Deerfest, huh? Did you hear that, honey? You have a lovely wife, if you don't mind me saying. I'm Pat Main, by the way. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm Alan Wake. Wait to leave him hanging. I won't pretend I don't recognize a famous writer such as yourself, Mr. Wake. A pleasure. I'm an avid reader myself. I hope this isn't too presumptuous of me, but I'm the night host at the local radio station. Any chance I could get an interview? Look, Mr. Maine, I'm on vacation. In fact, I'd appreciate it if we could keep my being here just between the two of us. I'm sure you understand. Fair enough. You can trust me to be this way. Not a hard man to track down if you change your mind, though. I hope you two have a lovely holiday. Is that a Leroy Jenkins reference over there? I guess it was 2010. Ooh, seaplane. Anyone else I can Very talk Very nice. To? I got a couple of really good ones. And I see you made a friend. That's cute. Right. Yeah? Hey, bestseller. That was my favorite writer. Oh, Are you there yet? Yep, Barry. Yeah. We just got him. Are the locals giving you trouble? Say the word, and I'll hop on a plane and come make sure that you're left alone, Al. No, Barry, we're fine. Great, great. I want to make sure you can relax and charge. So, how is the place? Does it got your creative juices flowing? Barry, we're just settling in. Okay, Al. I'll call back later to make sure you're doing okay. And you call me if there's a problem, okay? Okay. I'm just looking out for you, buddy. Talk to you later. I love you too, Barry. You know he's going to be calling you every five minutes. Barry is Barry. I can always turn off the phone. Oops. What did I tell you? Text message from Barry. He says hi to you, too. <laughs> nice. Alan, we're here. Come on, let's get back to the car. It does make it feel like these people have known each other forever. Uh, which one is ours? Is it this one? Yes. I believe this, uh... I believe Bright Falls is in Washington, by the way, but I'm fairly sure Mr. Maine's last on, name. You oh. get the full service here. I've made all the arrangements. I drive the car. I'll even carry the bags. All you have to do is drag your cute butt into the car and enjoy the ride. Yeah, sounds like you've got a lazy bastard for a husband. <laughs> yeah, but I got a thing for him. <laughs> Come on, you lazy bastard. Let's go. I'm just going to say real quick, uh, it's, the, the whole game is like a big homage to Stephen King's writings, and most of his novels take place in Maine. We need to stop at the local diner to get the cabin key from the landlord. A Mr. Carl Stuckey. He's waiting for us. I'll go fill her up while you get the key. I'll pick you up here in, say, 15 minutes? Sure. Alan? Thank you for coming here with me. I love you, too. Go on. I'll promise to behave. I'd forgotten there were still places like this. Towns where everybody knew everybody. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. Hi, I was wondering if you could help me. I'm looking for... Mr. Wake. Alan Wake. Oh, God! I am your biggest fan. I know people say that all the time, but I really am. I'm glad to hear that. Rose. <laughs> Rose, I'm looking for Mr. Stuckey. Carl Stuckey? Carl? Oh, of course, Mr. Wake. He must have gone to visit the restroom. He'll be back in a moment. I can't believe it. I've got all of your books. I got the oh, cut-up no. from the bookstore when they took it out of the window. <laughs> and you keep it here. Well, okay. Good for you. Oh, sure. She can just stare at it all day now. Try the coffee. Just don't blame me when you fall in love, because it'll break your heart when you have to leave. Rusty here is no longer human. Nothing but black coffee under a thin layer of skin. Yeah, that makes two of us. Are you 
you staying long, Mr. Wake? I can't believe it. I'm having a conversation with Alan Wake. Do me a favor, Sonny. I could really use a tune right now. Coconut, number six in the jukebox. Sure. I'd do it myself, but both of my legs have gone to sleep. Bad circulation. Yeah. Are you serious? Coconut again? You disgust me. Call yourself a rocker. Unbelievable. Ha! <laughs> of course. You put the lime in the coconut, drink them both up. Just because we're brothers, don't think I won't murder you in your sleep. I think this guy needs his coffee. Or... To the looks yes, of him, maybe another that's drink. That's my favorite tune! Coconut! Shut your mouth, you demented has-been. If I had my hammer, I'd shut it for you. Jeez. It does that! Get stuck! Yeah! You need to give it a good solid whack! Tune number six in the jukebox! Children of the Elder God! Now there's a song for you. Now that's what I'm talking about, yes! Oh boy. This is it. I've died and gone to hell. Making him dance. <laughs> I remember doing this back in the day. <laughs> I like these guys. This episode isn't getting monetized. But I am, uh, willing to go there. <laughs> <laughs> this is silly. What's up? You all right? What is that? Don't go in there, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. I think I can handle it now. What is that? You don't want to die, do you? Oh. Worse. I don't want to but he didn't listen. I had no idea the song went this long, to be honest. I'm surprised there wasn't more ambient dialogue from the waitress here. Arg. I saw a prompt. 
Where did it go? Steel hat. Okay. Let's see. Well, first I want to see if I can go in the staff only door because fuck the police. Nope. Ahem. I didn't want to wait. I wanted to find Stucky to get the key and get out as soon as possible. The waitress was giving me a headache. Overeager fans always did. Going by the facial animations, I think it's still the same, like, animation, uh... I think it's still the same animation instructions, just with better, uh, models. And I'm alright with that, because, uh, of course, uh... The alternative would be like, remaking it for years to, you know, make it look like, uh, Control. Oh boy. Hello? Mr. Stucky? Carl couldn't make it. Unfortunately, he was taken ill. But I have the key for you and instructions on how to get to the lake. Okay. I wish you a good stay in my cabin. I'll come by later to check how you've settled in. And to meet your wife. I insist. Thanks. It would probably be rude to ask about the veil, is a special yes? Place. Very inspiring. So, uh, come here often? I am so happy this could be arranged. I uh, sure that makes two of us. You got lucky this time, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. This really ought to be fixed, and then I must remind Sarah to change the lights at the station. It's been too long already. You know, normally I don't truck with obviously crazy people, but in this particular game, maybe she's onto something. Are you okay? That sounds better than your singing. Are you alright? <laughs> splendid, splendid! <laughs> Damn hernia. It swells up like a balloon if I lift anything heavier than a spoon. Yeah, splendid, splendid. Splendid, it's been a long time, Tom. Good to see you. Hey, uh, you wouldn't happen to have a bottle on you, would you, Tom? Uh... I wish. <laughs> oh, dear. The Andersons, they're, uh, local musicians. We're waiting for Dr. Hartman to come pick them up. They wandered off from his clinic at the Cauldron Lake Lodge. Well, hopefully Dr. Hartman can get them the medical treatment they, d they need. Did her model just wig out? I'll be heading back to work as soon as Dr. Hartman gets here, Rose. Oh, but I'm not looking forward to the poison we have at the park cafe. Oh, good. <sighs> have it. Bye, Mr. Wake. Bye. Mission accomplished. The key? and the directions. My hero. I got some flashlights, just in case. Never hurts to be prepared. Hey, wait! Mrs. Wake! Your... Your keys! That diner was a real nut house. <laughs> Can you believe this place? This would make a wonderful setting for a book. We're supposed to be on vacation, Alice. I'll figure it out when we get back home. Okay? Okay. We can talk about this later. Batman here on PBF Heaven. I didn't want to talk about it. I wanted to bury my head in sand. Here's another one of my favorites to go with it. Once upon a time, I was a successful writer. But that was a long time ago. I hadn't been able to write a word in two years. Not since my last book. Be a 
clear night, so you folks from the big city might want to look up every once in a while, see those stars winking down at you. Uh, it gets pretty dark out here, but they'll light your way. It's gorgeous. That is pretty awesome. It's something, all right. Don't worry, honey. I'll get you inside safe and sound before it gets dark. And I've got the flashlight. I know. I'm okay. Alice had a phobia. The fear of darkness. I wanted to make sure we were inside with the lights on before sunset. Diver's Isle. Here we go. Oh, hey. Don't mind me, I'm just looking around for uh, out of place coffee. I believe that's what's implied to be in the thermos is coffee. The island had once been the site for a love story. Maybe it would be that again. TZ and BJ. Oh. An old generator had been connected to the power cable. Oh, I see. This is going to be with the lights won't turn on, right? Hot damn, what a place. The power cable goes to that shed over there. Come on. It's dark in there. We need lights. Can you figure out how to get the power on, honey? Sure thing. I'm on it. Yeah, she doesn't want to go in. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Even unlock, let there be light. Powered up the generator. How have only 2% of players unlocked that? Huh. The lights are on! Good work, honey. I'll freshen up a bit and start settling in. Okay. I'll look around a bit. Sure thing. Have fun. It is absolutely gorgeous around here. It was a beautiful place. I told myself I could rest here, sleep here, and forget about my work. Two years of writer block is a long time. I thought we could be happy here. Writer's block, rather. You know, I'm surprised he's capable of dreaming at all. After all, he's awake. A har har har. Alice had told me about Cauldron Lake Lodge. The old building used to be a hotel, but these days it was no longer open to the public. That's where they said Dr. Hartman works. Continuity. Wind chimes. We have a set just like this one. <laughs> that makes me smile that it's a functional physics object. 
I mean, I bet they just play, set it to play a specific sound effect when you run into it, rather than it actually modeling the sound that would come from jostling them, but, you know. You know what's funny? Over the last ten years, uh, I have been thinking about this game. I realized it just sort of cemented Bright Falls in my head as a place where it's always autumn. So I was actually really thrown off to see the snowshoes on the wall at the, uh, the diner. That's why I was staring at them for a bit there. Those Alice's? Do I have to take my shoes off indoors? Alice? Honey? Huh. A shoebox filled with books by Thomas Zane sat on the shelf. I'd never heard of him before. Okay, we got Thomas Zane, The Temple of Shadow and Mist, The Labyrinth of Me, Kept from Sleep, and In Her Dreams to Prevail. I'm just going to see the, ro the labels on these other things, but they're uh, kind of low res. Web M. What, like the, the website that tells you you've got cancer? The Snowy Hills. Uh, that one just says uh, Peak Roots. That's a real one, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, a uh, Hmm. Kunta Kinte and all that. Change, I see over on the, uh, the far end. Huh. What is making that noise? What? Oh, dear. This clock is so old it doesn't have any hands anymore. Guess that's a shame. Ah! I thought I saw that. It just wasn't fl flickering. Is that soy sauce? It is soy sauce! I thought it was weird enough that that was at the, like, the coffee and sandwiches diner. I don't know what it's doing in, uh, the cabin. Well, the timer has gone, so I'm going to call it here. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play Alan Wake again. Until then, remember, when the sun starts going down, stay in the light. <laughs>